We are living in a crazy remarkable age right now where PowerPoint is able to do both captions and translations. But not only that, they can do it live. Captioning, meaning that it'll caption and transcribe the words that I'm speaking in real time, as long as I'm enunciating well. PowerPoint can also translate not only the content of the slides, but it can offer captioning translation as well. It's crazy. So let's dive in and see what this is all about. I have a couple of slides here, and this is just content. This, In terms of slide design, this is really bad design. Never put this much text on a slide. If you have this much text, print it out and give it to your audience as a handout, but not as a slide. But let's see what the translation function is up to. So it's just a bunch of text. It's all in English. I'm going to hop over to Slideshow, and you'll notice there's a Microsoft Translator section. I can go ahead and translate the slides, and I can also present with subtitles. First of all, let's look at what this Translate the Content of Your Slides feature does. I have a pop-up here, and I have my slide language, which is English, translate to, and then I can select one of dozens and dozens of languages. So let's pick a common language and go with Spanish. Then click Translate Slides. It's going to ask me to save my PowerPoint presentation as a new presentation, so I will go ahead and do that. And here I have it. And let's take a look at these other slides as well. It looks pretty good. In a bygone day, I was actually fluent in Spanish. I lived in Mexico for a couple of years. From what I remember of the language, this looks pretty good. I happen to marry a Brazilian, so we speak a little more Portuguese in our house than Spanish these days. But I can still see that this is a pretty decent job. So I'm going to hop back over to my original slides, and let's see what the subtitles are about. The first time you engage in subtitles, you're going to have a few windows come up to guide you through the functionality and process. So today I'm going to be speaking English. What language would I like to display the subtitles in? For now, let's just stick with English. You have custom speech recognitions. I want to make sure that my microphone is selected. I have optional settings. I can put my presenter name. Do I want to show the subtitles below the slides or over the slides? I actually kind of like it below the slides. The default is over. So here's a slide that pops up to give you an overview of the translation software being used. And you can see at the bottom of the screen here, it's already translating the words that I'm saying. Well, it's captioning the words that I'm saying. So if I hop into my slide, I can start reading and narrating. And you can see right at the bottom that it does a pretty decent job of captioning in real time. It's bad practice, but let me just read some of the content in the slides and see how well it can keep up with me. Our course objectives are goals developed to support our program departments and institutional mission and purpose. So today, most captioning software that's automated will work at around a 90% success rate. Uh, it's typical to see 89 to 92. Some of the more sophisticated captioning softwares out there might be a little bit higher than that. To get true 98 to 100% captioning success, you really need professional transcribers, and even two professional transcribers so that they can have inter-rater reliability. But for something that's built right into PowerPoint, I think that this is a pretty powerful tool. So I'm going to stop the translation, stop the subtitles, and now I'm going to try doing subtitles where it translates at the same time. So I'll speak English, and I'm going to hop back over to Spanish, and let's see where we're at. All right, let's get going. We're going to talk about captions and translations in PowerPoint. And right now, my speech is being translated into another language, and that language is Spanish. For those of you Spanish speakers who are able to follow along with the captions down there, you might agree with me that the translation is pretty good. It's not 100%, but it does a great job of capturing the main ideas and the main points that I'm trying to communicate. And it's doing it in real time. So I'll tell you, this is just an amazing technology, an amazing time that we're living in, that we can not only have live captioning, but that it can be translated at the same time. And you're noticing some service issues there. I think that's with my internet right now. I've been having intermittent internet problems today, and I don't think that that's a reflection of PowerPoint necessarily. 
This is pretty amazing stuff. It helps not only with accessibility, but also with being able to reach a broader audience in real time.